fining parents if their children are habitually late for school. A lot of comments coming through on that. Yes, I think you've got uh, I have, the yes. Ones. This has got everybody going. Um, Alana, shall I just sign all parental rights over to the government? As time goes on, I can't help feel that more and more choices, decisions regarding my daughter are being taken away. I'm being told how to raise my child by people who use statistics to make decisions and enforce rules and reprimands. What happened to help and guidance? But then if they all just came into school when they felt like it, <laughs> you have to have a time. The schools don't you? would be yeah. empty, yeah. especially as they get to teenage years. Um, Kat, what about kids who are late because the bus service is rubbish and rarely runs to time? It isn't fair to find them for this. I would refuse to pay it. Well, that's where the headmaster's yeah. discretion yeah. would come yeah. in if you can prove that you're that your bus was late. And Laura, I agree with finding parents. It takes nothing to get your kids to school on time. I see the same two parents every day taking their child to school late. Surely they would be on time if they were threatened with a fine. Part of growing up is teaching your child timekeeping. Well, you said Absolutely. that, didn't you, when yeah, they get to the workplace? You are set an, ex time. an example. And teachers yeah. can't have kids wandering in late no. to the class all the time.